It's only a few months to go for our wait for AMD's latest Intel destroying retail processors will be over. It's Zen 3 4th Gen processors, the 4000 series that look set to do to Intel what the 3rd Gen did last year. Even now Intel's latest offering is 10th Gen processors have not managed to catch AMD's 3rd Gen processors up. So AMD looks set to even widen its lead over Intel and thus encourage many more users to make the leap from Intel to AMD. Even the more costly XEs with the 18 cores can't beat 16 core 3950X. So what hope did the 10 core i9 10900K have? Okay, maybe for gaming, just manages to edge the 3950X by a few percent given the higher boost clock speed of 5.3 GHz but for productivity it comes nowhere near. But enough of Intel, what can we expect to start upgrading to from September onwards when AMD is expected to announce the 4900X and then within a couple of months or maybe four at the most the 4950X, how many cores and at what clock speeds? Well, when the 3900X was announced last July with its 12 cores and 24 threads, that blew away Intel's 8 core 16 thread 1900K. But AMD weren't done with Intel yet. Four months later, along came the 3950X with its 16 cores and 32 threads for just $750. That was the final nail in Intel's retail processor's coffin which like many Intel users started looking to upgrade viewing switching to AMD for the first time in decades. So again what can we expect from AMD for the 4900X and the 4950X this year? Well AMD has already given us a big clue of what to expect in having stated that Zen 3 will have 8 core chiplets as opposed to Zen 2's 4 core design. What this means is that AMD's 4900X and 4950X core counts should be in multiples of 8. Whilst the lower processors in the 4000 series would likely have cores binned, i.e. deactivated. Thus, since the 3900X was a 12 core processor, then the 4900X should be a 16 core 32 thread processor with the higher base clock and boost clock that should see a performance increase by at least 18%. Meanwhile the 4950X we are all salivating for will likely be a 24 core 32 thread monster. Though with a slightly lower base clock and turbo than the 4900X which would be more aimed towards the gamers out there. Still this massive jump in the number of cores from 16 to 24 should result in an overall performance boost of at least 22%. If things pan out as expected then I will definitely be upgrading to a 4950X system before the end of this year as long as there is enough supply given the pandemic consequences. Anyway, it won't be long now and you never know, we may even get a pleasant surprise if AMD goes for broke with a 32 core 64 thread retail processor. Though I doubt that will happen as it will be competing against its lower end epic processors, still you never know. <laughs>